Hi, it's William from Global English EFOL Courses, and I'm here today with one of our course tutors, Steve Button. Now, Steve uh, uh, is a tutor for Global English, but he's also a trainer for the CELTA courses. So he's got experience of both uh, online learning and also training teachers in a face-to-face -face environment. So, Steve, let's yeah. just explore a little bit about um, uh, the two methods of, of training to get into this profession and industry. If I were to take a CELTA, what kind of experience would I have? And um, what are the pros and perhaps the drawbacks of, of the CELTA? Okay. Well, you've basically, you've got a couple of options, I think, with CELTA. Uh, you can do the intensive, which is the four-week one, or the part-time one, which tends to be over a few months. So most of my experience has been with the intensive course. Um, pros, I guess, you get, you get it over with a lot faster, which is one. Um, and also, I think there's, there's a much closer gap between your feedback and getting into class again to act on that feedback. So I think the, from the part-time courses that I've done, people are saying that the gap between getting your feedback on a lesson and teaching again can be a month. Mm. And that's a long time between lessons. Um, so, so there's that advantage. Um, I guess you've got sort of permanent, constant access to your tutor on a face-to-face -face course. Um, sort of immediately there's no delay in a question and answer session um, and you learn perhaps better off other so, well some people learn better off feeding off other trainees on the course I guess mm. um, so that would be one of the main advantages of the CELTA I think a disadvantage for CELTA is I find it quite prescriptive um, often on the first day of a CELTA course, I'll explain to teachers, especially those who've got some experience of teaching, that you might have to unlearn quite a bit to get through a CELTA. Um, because there are a course document, there are a lot of tick boxes in there that you have to have shown that you've done. I mean, good things such as, are your instructions clear? Um, how do you uh, develop listening skills, your lesson planning skills, etc. It's, it, it's all good, um, but it can become quite like like learning to drive. I guess you know you've got to learn to do it this way to pass your test. After the test, you drive how you want, well within limits, obviously. But so it can be a little bit prescriptive. I think that's what I would say. It can be a drawback. Yeah, I mean, being creative is good. Yeah. But there does feel like you can you you're creative within an environment mm. in a CELTA sometimes. Yeah. Okay, that's really interesting. Thank you. Now, from a perspective of somebody who uh, chooses an online training experience, such mm -hmm. as that we, we run at Global English, what are the pros and perhaps some of the drawbacks of, of that that you've seen from uh, marketing some of the work for us? Okay. Um <laughs> I must admit, it was a very pleasant surprise to me with the, with the online training when it started because I was very impressed with the quality of some of the responses that I, I was getting through, from the trainees. So um, people who hadn't taught before, their assignments seemed very um, wise, I guess, and quite mature in terms of what they thought they could achieve in a lesson. Maybe, maybe with an online course, you're not sort of knocked back a bit, like you might be on a salty thing, oh, I tried that and it didn't work, therefore I feel I shouldn't try it again. I found with online marking, with, with this course, um, that students will take, otherwise take. And so what I'm finding is that some of the answers are very creative, um, some are very challenging and would be challenging to teach, but still, you know, no, no pain, no gain, I guess. And if you don't try it, you never know. Um, and I must admit, even though I've been teaching for 30 odd years, I've learned a lot more about what you could do in a class through this online course, I would say. Mm -hmm. So things that I'd never tried before, you think, oh, wow, that sounds amazing. I'd actually quite like to try that. Um, so yeah, I don't know whether you, whether people come onto a CELTA course and 
it's drummed into them that they've got to think a little bit like their tutors, maybe. So they're trying to please the tutors? I don't know, but I've certainly found on this course a certain amount of freedom, I would say, among the trainees. Okay, that's really interesting. And, and good to know that trainees can experiment perhaps a little bit yep. in that yeah. way. Drawbacks, though, I mean, because you don't have that face-to-face -face environment, do you, with, a, with, mm -hmm. with an online experience? So a drawback. Um, well, I guess you don't get to teach. Mm. So there's no actual teaching practice um, at this point anyway. Um, so that you're, you know, you might get feedback on a lesson plan where it's very, very good, or you might want to try this, that, or the other from your tutor and you can't actually try it out. And, and I can't see how the lesson worked out, which is often a shame because I've seen some lesson plans where I think, well, I'd really like to see this yeah. in action, you know? Um, so you don't get to try your ideas on students. You don't get that feedback from the students, which is the more immediate thing, I guess, with CELTA. Yeah. yeah, you would come out of a lesson in CELTA thinking that went well, that didn't go so well. Here, you've got to imagine more and wait a bit longer, perhaps, to try it out. Yeah. yeah. Steve, that's really helpful. Thank you so much. Um, You're welcome. It, it, it's interesting, isn't it? There are pros and cons to both approaches, and, and it doesn't Absolutely. either has it has it totally locked. But I guess to a certain extent, it might suit some individuals um, to be in the CELTA experience more. It might suit yeah. others to go for a more online experience. So yes. um, yeah, it's, it's good that there are these options that. Uh, that absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, that's really helpful. Thanks very much for joining me today, Steve. You're welcome. Well, speak to you. No bye -bye. problem. Bye-bye.